Hello, welcome to this market update from CMC Markets. Uh, the title of this video is Four Years When Summer Trading Was Not Dull. Um, the reason I'm highlighting this because sometimes that is the perception that uh, the big moves don't happen in the summer. You know, markets can often be range bound. Um, while that would probably be an ideal situation if you're a long-term investor, you don't want the volatility. Uh, as a trader, the volatility that we have actually seen in the past few summers has been a real godsend. So just wanted to highlight a few examples really um, don't have to look too far back um, just this summer alone uh, obviously we've had the the EU referendums and been a very specific event risk there uh, and it's caused some big moves in the UK 100 and the British pound I've got both of those on the screen here um, you know these are these are weekly candlestick charts but you can see obviously sterling jumped up to 150 fell all the way down to 130 um, just in the month of June alone you know, had you been on holiday at the time, though those moves would have been would have been missed. Equally, in the FTSE 100, you can see in this uh, weekly chart, you know, this is uh, this was the prior trading range. We obviously dropped down towards the bottom of the range, but we've since subsequently in the summer months broken out into a new uptrend in the UK 100. Um, it it seems like um, the lower liquidity just means that there are fewer market participants. Um, with an, with an opposing viewpoint to counteract these sunbursts of volatility. So the volatility itself uh, often focuses the market attention on serious problems at hand. And so obviously in this case it was a Brexit, but then looking back into 2015 we had the burst of the Chinese stock market bubble. Um, that caused the Shanghai Composite, the benchmark index from China, to drop 30%. Uh, it took the delisting of half the companies on the index to actually stabilise those declines. But obviously that spread to other markets. And again, we can look at the, uh, the FTSE 100 and see the declines we had last summer. The, this was, as you can see uh, on the screen there, in August. And in the two weeks during August, the, the FTSE fell 15%, fell 1,000 points. So a, a trend, obviously, you'd want to have uh, done your best to take advantage of. Um, 2014 uh, was the big moves in the US dollar and in oil. So you can see we've got the oil market on the screen here. You can see kind of what happened here is that we were in a range, but it was during June, July and August when we took out the 200-week moving average. And from peak to trough, from August through the end of the year, um, in uh, in 2014, all prices dropped. Uh, the Brent crude price dropped over 50%. Likewise, if we look at this euro chart, you know we can see that during uh, 2014, similar concept. During the summer months, dropped below its 200-day moving average, and obviously went on to plummet about 3,000 pips. So a huge trend in the FX market. Uh, then 2011. You know, you could say in 2012, 2013, there was just a strong uptrend in equity markets, not the kind of massive shakeout that you'd expect, but still a, a, a long uptrend taking place. In 2011, it was the, the European debt crisis really coming to a head, and that was most evident in government bond markets. We saw the, the yield on Portuguese jet, uh, debt going up above 13%. In, on Greek debt, it was almost 30% on the 10-year government bond. Uh, it was fairly unprecedented levels, uh, but also very much apparent in the euro chart. You can see if we scroll back here, it was uh, during this period of time when we'd been in a bit of an uptrend higher, but we took out the low here um, uh, and during August plummeted uh, from a from a peak of around 145, dropped about 1,300 pips down to 132. But then, what was um, crazy trading at the time, if you remember, uh, we just went right back up again, almost taking out all the losses up to 142. So gained, um, you know, close to a thousand pips on the on the upside as well. So massive volatility again to, to be taking advantage of. And so I think the conclusion that we can reach here is that um, you know when you're trading financial markets you, you want to take advantage of the big moves um, the last few summers have seen some big moves taking place across markets um, looking at this year the summer's almost over but uh, certainly fears that the fed may begin hiking rates u.s elections chinese currency devaluation and italian bank flare-up and brexit all reasons 
that the the markets could decide to pull the the trigger collectively and uh, we could see some some bigger moves again so if you do see some important levels being taken out in the markets that you're trading you know, don't assume that that move can't continue just because it's summer um, the last few years have, have suggested otherwise right thank you very much for watching the video uh, good luck with the trading for the remainder of the week Jasper Lawler signing out